Let's go to business now, though, uh, with Nona Peltier, who is here in the studio with us. Hi, Nona. Uh, tourism holdings upbeat about continued growth in the tourism industry. Gosh, it's been growth and growth and growth yeah. and growth and growth. What's behind the company's outlook for the sector? Okay, so I was at their annual meeting this afternoon. It was packed. People were happy because, of course, the company reported a full year result, 24% up. That was for the year ending in June. They're saying that this year's uh, full year profit is expected to be maybe up to 30% up on last year. Gosh. That's between 36 and 39. Now, in every other year I've been to their annual meetings, they've always kind of come up and said, well, in our forecast, we're revising it up, but not this time. And I spoke with the chief executive about that, and he said, well, you know, I mean, it's not like we're exactly slumped here. And he said, also, there's an enormous amount of capacity within the tourism sector, despite those pinch points we've been hearing about in some places where there's a lack of capacity, shortage of hotel rooms, and so on. So they're talking about broadening the seasons effectively, aren't they? And yeah. getting, getting people to come at times other than when everyone else is coming. Exactly. Now, look, they, they did have a bit of a soggy start to the first quarter of the year, and that's we've seen that also in the dairy sector, too. Right. Oh, ah, you see what I did? Good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, because I was going to ask you about that. I know. So what are you going to tell us? Well, I'm going to tell you that uh, the prices fell in the global dairy trade. Not a lot, but enough for some economists to revise down their forecast on the mark, uh, the milk, um, the farm gate milk cut price. Yeah. yeah. So uh, it's still mixed, though. So it could be one or the other. But some people are saying the prices are going to rise towards the end of the season. Others are saying, yeah, this is a sign of things to come and the prices will come down. So. And these are the two big earners in the New Zealand economy, aren't they? Yeah. So you've been so tourism yeah. has surpassed, or did dairy go back when the prices went back up? They sort well, of, that's a yeah, tricky yeah, question, yeah, well, isn't yeah, well, it, John? They, and I'll tell you what, I'll, I'll know that when the GDP prices right. come out for the September quarter, which they haven't yet. Okay. So, but tourism and dairy are one and two, or two and one. Yes, that's yeah. right. And, you know, interestingly, we did a story this morning about tech companies being number three. Right. So, Good God, huh? Yeah, yes, yeah. they've moved up to number three. $10 billion in exports, uh, no, $10 billion in turnover, over $7 billion in exports. So there. So there, Nona Peltier, what happened on the markets? Well, I was just looking at the dollar just to see what was happening with that announcement we've just had out of Parliament there. Well, the New Zealand dollar was holding steady, so no one's getting too excited about an announcement. Yeah, <laughs> the, the, the announcement that an announcement, there may be an announcement. So we were at 71.6 yeah, yeah. uh, US cents, 91.1 Australian and 54.3 pence. Interestingly, the New Zealand top 50 index had another record close, but again, just barely three points up 8,115 and what we've been seeing there is that the morning opens it's the New Zealand investors they're driving the market down a bit but then the Asian market opens and boom lots of buyers come back in so every day it's a bit of a you know I don't know teeter-totter I'm not yeah, sure yeah, exactly yeah. how you would call yep. that yo-yo yo. Yo, yo. Yeah. anything you'd like <laughs> thanks Nona really appreciate it Nona Peltier our business reporter here in Auckland